Hi, I'm Steve Furlong and we're going to review the potential benefits of the FHA Streamline program available to you as of January 26, 2015. FHA Streamline program work. Let's say you have a mortgage balance right now of $200,000 and you took this loan out about a year and a half ago so the starting balance would have been about $205,000 and it's an FHA 30-year fixed loan. The market rate at that point in time, about July of 2013, was maybe somewhere around four and a quarter percent. And so your principal and interest payment then would be approximately $1,008 per month. And you would need an amortization calculator to do that. The monthly FHA mortgage insurance is 1.35% of the loan amount initially divided by 12 and that 1.35 was set by FHA and so we can calculate that with a simple calculator if we take 205,000 times 0 .0135 divided by 12 the monthly FHA insurance right now that you're paying is 230 and change so that would make your monthly principal interest and mortgage insurance payment approximately $1,238, roughly. And that is the PIMI payment, principal and interest and mortgage insurance. We're going to exclude property taxes and property insurance for right now because you're going to be paying that either way the same amount the mortgage doesn't change that so we'll leave the taxes and insurance portion of that out so your total mortgage payment would be more than this because you're currently paying your property taxes and your insurance through that payment as well so how does a streamline work an FHA streamline is a loan program where you can refinance an existing FHA loan you necess don't necessarily need to have an appraisal and you can only include the existing balance of the loan so you cannot finance in closing costs so here's how we calculate the loan amount first we start with the payoff on your mortgage which can include 30 days of interest and then we subtract the FHA MIP mortgage insurance premium refund and the refund you get is only uh, as far as I'm aware from one FHA to another FHA loan so refinancing from FHA to FHA if you refinance from FHA to conventional there's no refund and the refund is a sliding scale that decreases over time and so if you're about a year and a half into your mortgage you should get a refund of about 48 percent of the initial upfront mortgage insurance that you uh, financed so if your initial loan amount was 205000 including the upfront mortgage insurance, then we need to divide that number by 1.0175, and so your base loan amount was 201474 and if we subtract that from 205000 that means your initial loan, the upfront mortgage insurance that you paid, and you can go back and check your closing HUD-1 settlement statement for this amount, it will be listed on there, was about $35.25. And so you'll get a refund of uh, a year and a half, about 48%. Anyone can uh, search for the FHA MIP refund table, and you can get the factor then by determining the start date of your loan and how many months you are into your loan. So 48% of that, again back to our, I shouldn't say basic calculator, this is an HP 10B I've used this through, uh, I don't know, let's say 18,000 different financial calculations. But it'll do simple arithmetic for us too. So 3525 times 0 .48, 1692 would be your refund. So what we do then is we take 200,000, so the new loan, 200,000 minus 1692, and so your new base loan amount is 198307. And then we add the new upfront FHA mortgage insurance, which is required by FHA, and it is 1.75% of your loan amount, 
So then we add the 3470, which is 1.75% of your new base loan amount, and that equals 201777. So this is your new FHA total mortgage amount. Now FHA says when you do a streamline, you can do the maximum of 30 years or the remaining term of your loan plus 12 months. And so if you're a year and a half in, that means you have 28 and a half years left. And 28 and a half times 12 is 342 months. And we can add 12 to that for a maximum amortization term of 354 months. So let's plug that in as a term. Let's plug in 201777 as your initial loan amount and interest rate. So interest rates change every single day. And there are several options for interest rates from most lenders, if not all lenders as far as I'm aware. You can choose the lowest possible interest rate and bring the closing costs to closing. Or you can choose a higher interest rate and get a refund or a lender credit based on the interest rate you have selected at closing to pay for your closing costs. So that's how a no closing cost loan is done. So let's say, for example, a 30-year fixed FHA loan, streamlined loan today is 3.75 and you get, let's say, 3.5% of this loan amount back at closing. Just for example. And uh, for you CFP beers and uh, government officials out there who want to know the APR, that would come out to about 3.6266 plus the FHA mortgage insurance. So let's call it 4.75% uh, uh, APR or something. The APR, in my opinion, doesn't really matter anyway. I, I know that uh, not everyone agrees with me on that, but really it comes down to how much and how long. How much is my principal and interest payment, and how long do I have to pay that for? That's the total cost of your loan. So let's go back to my example. 201777 on a 30-year loan at, what did I say, 3.875? Let's use 3.75. So 3.75, the principal and interest payment now is 943. And if you get 3.5% of this amount back, that should pay for all of your closing costs, and it should cover your new escrow account setup, or a good share of it anyway, uh, up front as well. Now, you currently have an escrow account with your old loan. What happens to that money? That is your money. And so when you pay off your existing loan, the servicer of your existing mortgage has 30 days to refund that escrow money to you. You might want to call them and if you're refinancing, have them put a hold on the escrow account so they don't send any checks out to the county or your home insurance company. But let's just do a comparison here. So 943 instead of 4.25 is 3.75. That's the principal and interest payment for this total loan amount. And what about the FHA mortgage insurance, the MI? As of January 26, 2015, FHA has reduced the annual mortgage insurance premiums. If you are over 95% of the original appraised value or purchase price of your home, then it's 0.85% of the loan amount per year. If you're under 95%, then it is 0.8% of the loan amount uh, per year. So let's use 0.85%. After a year and a half, uh, you shouldn't be under 95% loan to value anyway, unless you applied additional payments towards your principal. And so, you know, I should make that, make sure that's correct actually. So how do we do that with a financial calculator? So 205 was the original loan amount, and the base loan amount divided by 1.0175 was 201.474. Dividing this by 0.965, that tells me your purchase price or appraised value, so going off the lower of the two, was about 208.780. So 95% of that is 198.300. So you'd have to be under 198.300 to be at or under 95%. So we'll use 0.85. So 201.777 times 0 0.0085 divided by 12, your monthly mortgage insurance would be 142.92. Now let's make it 143. 
So now your new PI and MI payment is 943 plus 143 or 1,086. And so in this example, the key numbers are your current interest rate uh, should be equal to or above what the uh, no cost interest rate loan is right now, though it could even be less than this and still have a FHA streamline refinance make sense. But look at the difference. 1238 minus 1086. So 1086 from 1238. Just in this example, going from four and a quarter to 3.75 in the reduction in FHA mortgage insurance reduces your payment by $152 a month. Yes, you are adding 12 months onto your loan, but if you made this much of an extra payment, you would take off significantly more from your current term. So you could also reduce the term of your loan and keep making the same payment if you wanted to, because FHA loans don't have a prepayment penalty. And so $152 a month, and, and as of right now, this, uh, this is approximately a no-cost loan. So again, interest rates change every day. And depending upon where the market goes, we could have an uh, extended period to where we can do these, or the window could be very short, and maybe the interest rates go back up in 30 days. No one really knows for sure. So if you have questions about this, feel free to give me a call. But this is an example of, a, uh, an, as of right now in today's market, a no-closing cost FHA streamlined mortgage.